So as I was saying, the, we're either infinite on the wheel or we're infinite in spirit. While we're on this wheel, there's rules because we're tied to divine feminine. Right now we're going from age of Pisces, least amount of love, into age of Aquarius, where we forgive everybody and you have to, but it's got to start from yourself because everything that you've experienced, that's not good. The more, the, the least loving your experience is, is because of karma. So, and those who are having a fantastic time is because of karma, but we all have our work to do on those 42 spiritual laws. And the more we ace that exam, when the answers are given to the exams as it's written, right? And then we can enjoy our life on this wheel, knowing that we have, to, if you want to get off before the next Piscean age, that's up to you. So it is going to be very beautiful. It will be very beautiful. Those who will fight it, instant karma, you'll be guided. I'm watching it in other people. And I'm watching it happen with insects. I'm watching it happen with animals. I'm watching this guidance. And it's when you can point it out to people and they start realizing that it's happening to them, they get invigorated. They're being shown the way. So when you're seeing it happening, it's happening. It's absolutely happening because not only are we being enlightened, but so are to the, the gods that are written on the Egyptian walls, the animals, the insects. They're gods. And the biggest thing that they want is during Genesis, we control the earth. We bring it back to abundance. Either you work with us or we'll work without you. And that's what Genesis is all about. So when they talk about depopulation, well, that's up to you. It's totally up to you. Nobody's going out there and depopulating anybody. There's no virus. The etymology of the word virus is virus, which is a snake spitting its poison. It's you releasing all those non-good vibrations of the past. So it's the weighing of the heart it is all about that. It's all about that. And the more we jump in, the better our life turns around. And if everybody around you, or is there, if there's people around you that need to be helped, imagine them in the way you want them to be in your world in a good way. And then watch their world change. It happens. It's a reality. You get, it's your world. It's your manifest. That world around you, that sphere, that energy sphere, that field, whatever you want to call it, that's your world. And you can change it because every cell in your body is another world that you can change. I agree. And in my journey, so if I choose to help somebody who I think I've got myself in a mess, but I can pretty much see that they've still got quite a bit of art. And it's basically for me just trying to push in little things there that they've not contemplated in relation to certain things that are happening. And slowly but surely, as you can see and recognize it, then you can see them apply it. And the great part of it is when they've recognized that in following that themselves, they can see a fruit. And they start, that's how they start to understand that, that there's a lot more to this world than meets the eye. But more importantly, the, the further away you are from your heart's pulse, the less, because your heart and your mind's connected, you know, your mind's only referencing the frequencies that your heart has been shut down to. And so as you start, the, the further away you are from that heart impulse, the more confusing this world is, the more beguiling the you know the more sort of uh, strict it is for you you know like people oh no we can't do that i don't know how to do that i mean i've never i've never operated according to what somebody else has decided i kind of can't do you know what i mean never you know if i have an idea and i think it's okay i'll do it i'm not interested in whether you're allowed to or no matter who says so and again that's just again your heart's free you know the frequencies that run from your heart are potent uh, but they're free, they're free of entanglement of other frequencies. And so I say that's that's a natural uh, progression uh, of following your heart impulse as opposed to your mind. But of course, the further you go with your heart impulse, the clearer your mind becomes also. The clearer your decisions become, the more you understand 
the spiritual side of life that we class as the unseen because you're not recognised. It's not that it's not there. It's just you've not you've not opened up to those higher frequencies, those fastest frequencies, and recognised the other side of things. Like the Native Americans would speak of the wind carrying. You know, to most people, that's like, ah, what's that mean? Well, they're expecting to hear a voice. You know, that's the, that's the picture. That's not what it is. It's a frequency, and it, you, 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 your auric field picks it up. And if, if you're on that frequency, it'll absorb it. Then you've got a, 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 the idea the wind is speaking. It's, it's sending messages. Yeah, it is. Everything is. Um, so it, it, it is. It's about focusing to... to coming closer to your heart impulses. Your mind will cleanse to that degree. So it's a natural progression. Focus to that. Your mind cleanses. It gets more intense. You can understand greater concepts. You could start listening to Ken Wheeler because I think for most people, he's a difficult listen. But, you know, he knows what he's talking about, that fella. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. So when you what you were just talking about there – where that's written in the Bible is Moses parting the water. Because as you become, the purer you re become, the more you realize that you are the chosen one. And in these times, you are the chosen ones and you grasp that. When your love is filled in your heart, no matter what you do, the waters part for you. This is your staff. And that staff is your ore. And as you travel through this ether, as you project your illumination wherever you go, it'll pick the path of least resistance to one love. Every, every microsecond, millisecond, whatever, infinite cycle of a second that you choose is already mapped out to the end game. It's a labyrinth. It's an absolute labyrinth. So every yeah. choice you make, every vibration you do is absolutely already predetermined, which is beautiful. It's a perfect system. But the animator is you. You're the only animator to you. People that are out there saying that we're living in a construct, but they use all these words. God bless. But in reality, those words, what they're really saying is you are the puppeteer, nobody else. Exactly. You're the only one that's flapping its wings. It's waves in these etheric waters so if we if we choose to do nothing but give out good karma you will like you said you will be the moses parting your own waters when you use special brilliantly thought out found words that have come to you from people and you know that it's truth and it's loving when you put those words in documents come up you've never seen before because everybody's trying to make pixels and do whatever with the words they're using that floods the internet now you're using certain words certain loving terms or whatever all the waters part and you get it's already there waiting for you it's already there in the akashic records and you can go this way that way that way however many ways you want but eventually you will get there you have to so now it depends on how much you want to bang off the side of the boat or do you want to jump in the one wake boat? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's and again, that's symbolized in the kingdom you're seeking is within. So if most people take the reference for who they are, uh, whether they're any good or not, from outside. Well, you've had it because everybody on the outside is tapped. So you're going to be tapped if you started to follow that uh, um, points for reference. You, the only point of reference as to who you are and how you're going on comes from within. That calling, as you said, you're the chosen. You know, you've got to see that, you know, when what that means is that the spiritual realm is bidding you come. Come to us. Yeah? And we're not outside on tell it. We're not your best mate. Doesn't matter what they think of you, they're judging you through their own nonsense of their own character, which is what people do. You know, they project their own character onto others. And the more, in essence, you know, the, the sort of bigger the enemy you think you've got before you, 
if you actually sit back and analyze it, what you're attacking there in that person is the part of you that you don't you don't want to admit to yourself is going on. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now, one thing I would like to say and just breach this with you, because the, the problem for a lot of people now, uh, they've been so put away from any kind of religious doctrine or even the term Bible for most people, just, oh. But there's another bit of a tripping point here that people are going to find, and that is you, we talk about the sacred feminine, we talk about Mother Mary, this, I think. So immediately everybody thinks, oh, it's an only Catholic ruse, it's something like that. It's, it's like, whoa, whoa, you're not... You know, you're not looking at the picture because we've used the term ISIS. You know, we're using all the terms that we know. Divine feminine is a pretty much general statement. The winged yeah. woman. Yeah. So to all out there that have that sort of, ooh, it's, it's, it's Christian or it's Catholic. No, it's, it's, it's a teaching that if you can grasp what it's saying to you, you you'll start exactly. to move forward. The you Marys, know? the divine feminines were never a literal. They're not literal beings in the sense of they are you. Isis, look at in the Egyptian walls, there's only really one character, but that becomes two and then that becomes three. Every female there is Isis. Every male is Osiris. And then they have a son called Horus. And Horus is another word for hours. And hours is an hours on the clock. So uh, if you want to say the divine feminine is only of one religion or whatever, no, that's not exactly, that's not what we're saying. It's impossible. The divine feminine is the, is the etheric energies that bring us back to one love. It's uh, the word God is yin yang. The word Lord is divine feminine. We are here tethered to divine feminine. And there, it's a beautiful system. And, Everyone in this world would love to be feeling pure love. If they hadn't felt it in this lifetime, there's a reason for it, but it's waiting for them. And they are guided and will be dragged to that pure love, which is a damn good thing. It's a darn good thing. Who doesn't want to be loved and have freedom? I think people's concept of love these days is a bit twisted. That's the well, problem. Yeah, that's sexuality, right? The sexuality well, and love, love and sex to be, that's it, you know. Yeah. Love's, that's not what it is. And that's what, of course, the machine has really thrust into the system. Uh, and people have picked up on it. And then people will go, oh, what are they doing to us? Well, what are they doing to you? Nothing. You're following You it. are doing it. <laughs> you're right. picking it up. You, you're paying money for it. You're jumped in and you're enjoying it. So, you know, and then they're not responsible ever. It, oh, what are they doing to us? Oh, and it's God's fault. It, well, it's not. You look clearly what's going on today. It, it's us that are doing it. Man are the ones that are making a mess here. It's man going to war in Ukraine. It's men going to war in, in Middle East. It's not. It's no gods. It's you. <laughs> you know? And, and whether the war is... See, they, they, they term it war, but in reality, it's delivering of karma. The media has a field day with it. Well, as people are starting to deliver each other karma, because they migrate to that area so that deliverance can happen. So the media has field days with it, like somebody is causing it for somebody else. No, no, it's happening because it's in the sky. If you, if you look at the different depictions of the winged woman in the sky, about 40% of the cultures that at least I've looked at show the divine feminine as one that goes to war. The reason why that is, like for Eris is called the goddess of discord and strife because while we're being cleansed, we don't feel very good. So some people would say she's nasty. Well, no, she's your mother and she's kicking your ass. She's giving you the wooden spoon. She's throwing the slipper at you like they did for us Italians. <laughs> it's you're getting a spanking yeah. from your karma. So if people are out there doing whatever, it's okay. Not that it's okay. Not that I condone. I'm saying okay is the not wrong. It's happening. It's not in your life. Why are you going to go watch it? I want to know what's going on in the world. Then you're going to go and get karma. Not only are you going to look at images that aren't good, you're going to deliver that karma to you 
and you're going to give it to your kids and you're going to give it to your grandkids because you're allowing that image to come into your world. Yeah. And you are what you imagine. And imagine is I am, right? The first three letters of I imagine is I am. So whatever you imagine, your world becomes. So if you're going to go look at non-good pictures, non-good words, non-good, all that stuff, you're manifesting your world. Yeah. But you want to stay away from it because by the, the least amount of people watching that, the more of those waters will settle. Just like the volcanic eruptions we're talking about that are potential for happening in April of next year. All right. So I'm not going to say it's going to happen, but it's happened every 558 years. So is okay. it going to happen this time? <laughs> well, Gabriel it depends up to us. Doesn't Gabriel have a voice? Well, Gabriel means basically uh, uh, of the mountain. So I wonder if a lot of these horns that we, we see symbolized are actually specific geological uh, event things like volcanoes and you've got earthquakes, yes. you've got thunder yes. and lightning, you've got flood. Yes. Do you know what I mean? These horns are actually... Like, yeah, that's it. Now this goes. This, this is what there, you're going to get. All these volcanoes. Get up, this earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, people are seeing these guys with wings going... Doo, 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 doo. You know, no. They're so manipulated. No, no, they're, they're weird people. Right. When, if, if, if the, when a volcano lets go, it sounds like a horn. <laughs> and there's seven trumpets are going to go off. There is eight open lava lake volcanoes of the 1300 and something volcanoes around the world there's eight that are always a lava lake they don't have to give any warning they can just go now that's really seven because two are so close together in the exact same mountain chain i'm calling it seven because it fits perfectly and then in that's in in psalm it tells you exactly the wise will know that the dragon is really a mountain where the woman sits. So these volcanic eruptions can happen at any time. See, there's a reason why Juno is always the, the Mary Magdalene, Nephthys, Juno, what in current astrology, she is looks like a sparkler. She's got points coming out in all directions. She's boom, like an explosion. She does shingles. We've done enough. We've done enough charts. She's in charge of the eruptions in your skin. In medical astrology, bar none, she does the eruptions in the skin. In volcanic eruptions, she's involved. Okay? So now, Juno's Mary Magdalene. Magma. You got the word ma and ma in there. You got the letter G. That's the seventh letter. It's all there. Of those seven, listen to two of the names. Michael, <laughs> Archangel Michael, the one that fights the dragon in Revelations. There's, yeah. a, there's a volcano called Michael. There's also a volcano that has one of the seven lava lakes. There's, Michael's a seven lava lake one is named the Messiah. <laughs> when the Messiah comes, the Messiah comes on a phoenix rising. So the volcanoes are sitting there saying, okay, we're going to spew that red blood. Okay. When we get the eruptions in the skin, it comes out red. The magma based on redshiftedness, based on not being loving with your heart, it, it will spew. It will create that oh shit in the sky and then things will happen to wake us up. It's a perfect system, both physically and metaphysically. It wakes us up regardless. And if some of us perish, we're back anyway. Oh well, yeah. I don't want anybody to perish. I don't want any party to perish because first of all, we're not that which dies. We're not the meat suit we see in the mirror. Oh no. We're we're here for an experience. So if we gotta come back again, we gotta come back again. And when you get into death, most people never even get to contemplating what death is. They're more concerned about the ways you might die. And so yeah. you never actually get to actually look at well, what is death? Uh, you know. Yeah, the only thing that dies is the biological system. Right. So you don't. But then where are you going after that? This is what we're talking about. And uh, that's what the Egyptians say, the art of transmigration. Yeah. So you're here to learn until you become pure. So you might as well work on next life while you're here or to be able to get off the wheel. When people say, I is my last time here, I say to them, well, 
you better work on being pure. <laughs> your words, your actions, everything. You better work on being pure because you can't. If you leave a vibration, it's not good. You have to come back to clean it up. You have to. I think that's where you can do it. You can, you can, right? You can do it at any time. Yeah. There's the a play the blind in there by having everybody focus on the after one. Forget this one because we're busy yeah. with everything. <laughs> you just concentrate on this one. Another. You know, but you can that right. can only happen to you if you don't understand these things. Right, right. It, you know what I mean? It, like, it goes, always comes back to it's all in you. And until people really start to grasp that, yep. um, you know, they're going to hit brick walls. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Babylon's going to fall. It's written there. It's in Revelation. Babylon falls. Bar none. It has the last phoenix risings but we're still in the piscean age so babylon falls but then the you know but now the collective consciousness is here that's the internet so the the infinite spirit is already showing itself we can see each other through these little magnets called uh cameras those are magnets that has the, the in the middle of every magnet is the ether is spirit the black hole so cameras are everywhere. Everything magnets are everywhere. I mean, every atom has its has the black hole in it. So everything has spirit in it. God is everywhere, right? Well, yes, it's true. Love is everywhere because every atom has the black hole. It's a field, like Ken, Ken Wheeler teaches. So now it's time to change. It comes from within, and nobody can escape it, which is beautiful. So it's just now: Are you going to work on your next life? And that weighing of the heart, and like you said, that's not when we die. We're dead. This is dead. We're in manifest. We're in impure. We're in impure form because this is where desires, everything else hangs out, right? So yeah, we're going to get off. Well, we're we going to go back to love. We just had the perfect monarchy for that, whereas the queen took the chair of the estates and took control of all the earth, the minerals, right below six inches. And Hubby, her king, took all your property. On person, clever stuff. And if they can fulfill this and show it into this final degenerate system, God help everybody. That's all I can say. But to right. people are starting to see this now, which is interesting because what two years ago, most people didn't have a clue. Um, and it's good that now people are starting to, to pull it together so that they can grasp the mechanic of it. And I think. That will be a good kicking start for a lot of people to make the next move and realize that it really is all about them. What are they putting out? You know, yeah, that's how the they thing. change their world. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, like you said, it's all perfect system. Um, and if you can see it properly, then you can see that that is the case. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, Yep. Yeah, it is amazing. It's, uh, uh, um, I, I'd like to share something with you. Uh, there is a brother that I saw on, like I said, Moses parting the water type thing. Documents come sit in front of my lap. There's a brother who wrote, he, he made a spreadsheet of a million lines long, and he's going through the Bible and trying to find out when the actual date was when Jesus dies on the cross. And he came up with 31 AD. So I thought, okay, I'm going to look at 31 AD. Well, just like the Phoenix rising is the mother with the sun, with the moon at her feet in Revelation 12, 1 in Aries. If that's if you're rising on the cross on that side, where the sun rises in the east, right? Well, there's the Phoenix rising in the east. So when the Phoenix dies in the west, there's got to be a Libra. So in 31 AD, exactly September 22nd, the mother and the son with the scribe in the weighing of the heart is on the zero point Libra. Uh, in 31 AD, that exact alignment is there. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. mother with the son with the scribe, Toth, Mercury. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. It's right yeah. there, that perfect yeah. alignment. Yeah. Yeah, and this is definitely how people need to start to understand a lot of this, uh, this doctrine, isn't it? Um, and it? I mean, the reason that they've fallen for this, all this nonsense is because 
I make this clear. It's nothing to do with Jesus. It's nothing to do with Buddha. These were just it's men you. that you, brought you. a message. And what do people focus on? Not the message. They focus on the messenger. How nonsense is that? It's ridiculous. How can you understand the message if you focused on the messenger? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Can I can I share my can you set this? Can I share it on my screen just real quick? I'm gonna make a, a little video on it, but yeah, I just go ahead. wanted to share it. What do I have to do? Uh somehow you gotta turn on share. You see the share screen in the bottom? Yeah. There should be a little link there saying allow participants to share screen. So desktop. Uh, whiteboard, iPhone, is that you? Are you on an iPad? No, no, that's that's you trying to share. Go down back where it says share screen. There should be a little arrow next to the share screen. I can't I can't see it on mine because... Uh, share screen, I've got the error. Yeah, advanced sharing options. One participant can share. Right, there you go. I think... Perfect, yeah, that's it. Super. Perfect. So this is the brother. There's a brother here that I hope his name's in here. But he did this beautiful spreadsheet. Here's his document uncovered. Did Enoch predict the rapture of the church? And this is my 31 AD that I threw over top of it, just so you know. And so he went through this whole thing and he said that's when he dies on 31 AD. He calls himself JJ. He's a computer programmer, movie, animated features. I reached out to him because you know we're still looking for an animator. But anyway, on September 22nd, 31 AD, look at this alignment. Aligned with Spica, zero, Libra, okay? There's yeah. Spica over here. This is Spica right here, right? That's Spica. That's you at harvest. Yep. So at Spica is aligned with the mother is aligned with the sun, is aligned with Mercury and the other Mary Juno. So both Marys are there. Who's at, yeah. the, crucif who's at the crucifixion? Yeah. When that, Jesus absolutely. dies on the cross. Go both green. Marys are there. <laughs> Here's both Marys. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. so again, if you open your heart to the truth, yeah. the keys will come in. That's right. This brother did, I, I, sent, I sent this information to the brother, but he kind of goes, I didn't say that. I go, no, I know, but I'm just trying to tell you that thank you very much. Because you just helped the team. Yeah. He, he never he never responded. I, I, I you know I, <coughs> obviously he did his job and that's it. But look how beautiful that is. And that's yeah. a Libra. That's the Omega. That's the sun setting. Yeah. This is the weighing of the heart. Mm -hmm. Look at the weighing of the heart in the Dendra Zodiac. This is where all misinterpretation of the Bible comes from. Here's Sarah as the harvester. There's Micah. So there's Mercury. There's the there's the the weighing of the heart, Libra. It's all there. And dividing up the world into races and cultures prevents everybody from seeing this as a well, start by, by design because we had to experience that no you can't stay here you yeah. can't stay here because you're going to go through lack of love if you want to go through this this grueling two thousand years of lack of love again then stay here it's up to you you're infinite so you but, can jump on and off anytime you want the beauty of what you've just shown there shows clearly that it's got nothing to do with the Abrahamic religions, this knowledge. It goes back to the Egyptians. Right. And the and word Egypt... Today, yeah. it, all these religions that are butting heads today, well, for what? It goes with the right. information you're all fighting over. It goes to source. Right. Here you go. Right. And I mean, and this will be sourced on earlier again, but this is what right. we're dealing with. And <clears throat> that should help people to get out of this idea that I'm this and I'm not of that. Or they're that, and I can't deal with them. Of course, you you know, there's a lot of people in this world who <laughs> won't want to be messing around with. But you know, like attracts like. Up, you upgrade your frequency, put out, transmit, and you'll receive the same. People will come together, and and that's you know, people want instant. Now it's got to be instant. So they might get up in the morning, and go right. I'm going to give out positive vibes, and they might do that for half an hour, get fed up, and then wonder why it's not that, and they'll never do it again. They don't, it's, the brains are just not working in the correct format anymore. And it's so downgraded on, this, on the old scale. There's going to be some fun in the future, for sure. Uh, but yeah. Exactly. E exactly. Yes. Now, was there a guy called Jesus that was enlightened at the time? Pro more than likely there was, but there, he wasn't the only one. No. 
we're like all of us, we're, we're, we're experiencing the start of getting Christ conscious. Uh, I don't think anybody's there yet, but there might be. God bless them if they are. Then we're probably not going to see them because maybe we're not there yet. Who knows how it works? But at the same time, I know I'm. Uh, we are feeling it. We're seeing it. We're sensing it. But we're supposed to be sensing it. Eris is coming into our crown. The mother is coming into our head astrologically. It's that way written on the Egyptian walls. It's happening. And we're starting to be revealed to that we have to be loving. What a concept. What a concept. <laughs> It's not hard, is it? <laughs> it's not that difficult, really, if you put no. it into practice. But no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, that's excellent what you've just put there. I mean, so far, all the astrological stuff I've looked at that you've done is uh, right on the button for me. It really is. Um, I think people need to pay attention. Um, yeah. You do. And I right mean, now, right now, as we speak, for my location, because everybody's is different. Eris, which is Isis, which is Madonna, I sent alarm, aligns up with the Imam Koality where spirit resides. So it's pretty amazing that here we are talking about there right at the time the alarm goes off. So there's another synchronicity. That's the way it works. And that's the beauty. You will know that you're on the right path because all these alignments just happening for you is invigorating. So the more you jump in, the more you will feel it. And the reason why I say it is because everyone must experience this. You will. And uh, as Carlos was telling me, Claudia, you should use the word allow. It's it, If you allow it in, it's yours to have. It's, it's amazing. So I think the message we can take from this that we can present out there in a few words would be focus on yourself and try a little bit harder. But put in a bit of love out. Right. And every word, every image, every action should be pure. And if you need to know if you're passing, the answers to the weighing of the heart exam of the universe, one love, one verse, one song. We're in university right now. The exam is the 42 spiritual laws. Go recite those. That's the answers to the test. If you recite those, if you live, walk, breathe those, they're beautiful. If you do that, Watch your world change. Well, I think on that note, my friend, we should call this uh, chat yeah, uh, complete. Sounds like a plan. I'll end recording, sir, and then we'll chat again uh, when I've stopped recording. That's all right with you? 100%. One okay. love. We'll just say to you guys out there, till the next time. Take care. Oh, I'm going to be... Uh...